My name is Beverly Vance Akins, and I am the um, author of the book, Smother. I'm JD's mom. When I read the book, I was heartbroken. I mean, the book um, is, is written from JD's point of view, and it's from a child's point of view, being raised by a drug-addicted mother. Um, and I never, I never knew his pain until I read the book. So it, it caused me to grow up a lot. And um, it's actually been, um, it's been a, a healing process, I think, for me and for him and for my daughter, Lindsay. Um, we've actually grown a lot closer. We've been able to talk more and, and it, 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 you know, it was, like I said, heartbreaking at first, but it's not so bad now. I mean, it just is what it is. When JD wrote the book, um, he consulted my sister a lot and he consult, consulted a cousin of mine a lot and also my brother, but he never talked to me because he had a lot of anger and we weren't really talking at that point. But when the book came out, he did come to Middletown and talk to me and say, Mom, I have to tell you that I wrote a book and it's, uh, it's being published and you're not very favorable in the book, but just know that I love you and I want the best for you. And I just said, well, you have to do what you have to do and I love you and I'm proud of you. And um, when the book first came out, I didn't want to hurt his feelings. I've shared this with JD. I went to Barnes and Nobles and I bought all of the copies twice. And then when I realized it hit the New York Times bestseller list and I didn't have to do that anymore, <laughs> we kind of made a joke about it. And it's like, he went, oh, mom, I'm so touched. But it's like, does anybody want a book? <laughs> I've got like 40. I think 100% of it is accurate and true from a child's standpoint. Um, you know, I didn't think I was that bad of a mother. Um, I do know that I was a drug addict, but I always knew that I had my parents. And I thought I was doing good by sending them to my mom's all the time. And in hindsight, I guess I should have been, I should have been there more.